So recently I did a video about AI and I mentioned that I'm not worried about AI because it can't even do text very well. If you go to Mid Journey and Leonardo and you type in a word, it has like scrambled words. But not long after that, I learned about this AI app called Ideogram and it does text really well. I'm surprisingly well and I've shared it on one of my posts here on YouTube as well as Twitter and the work that it does is incredible and it's just starting off and I'm, I'm sure it's gonna get better and better. So in this video, I wanna show you this AI app called Ideogram and what it does and how you can use it for print on demand. Let's go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. In this video, we're gonna talk about a new uh, text to image AI program application on the internet and that is Ideogram. We're gonna go there. Uh, things keep changing, keeps getting better for uh, text to image. Uh, I said this just a few weeks ago that it doesn't do, uh, AI doesn't do text to image well. Well, I was proven wrong very quickly. Uh, there is an app now and I think it's just gonna keep getting better and better. It's not perfect, but it's, um, f as far as text, it's leaps and bounds ahead of things like Mid Journey and Leonardo. If you're looking to design text designs or typography designs, there's actually a, a thing on there where you click typography and it does it. So I'll show you all the different tips and tricks on there. We're gonna actually do a prompt on there. So I'll show you exactly how it works. It doesn't take a, a lot of prompts on there to get something good. I'm gonna show you the Discord, how to get there, uh, where you can ask questions. I'm gonna find out if we can use this for commercial rights, uh, if we can use it for print on demand. And I'm gonna show you how to upscale this uh, and use it uh, and take away the background and all of that. So all your questions answered for this new app, hopefully. Uh, let's go there now and I'll show you where it is and what it does. All right, so first things first, here we are, ideogram.ai. You can see uh, at first it has, uh, we'd landed on trending, but there's uh, different things on here, recent, trending, following, top, we're gonna go through all of that. And there's also different sizes. So you can do square, uh, you can do this, I think 10 by 16, 16 by 30. So you can see the tall portrait or the wide, or you got the square, right? So uh, any of those, and you can see right away, like some of the trending ones have text on here, right? Uh, look at that text, you can actually read it. Let's get smashed. Life is beautiful. And they're not just the same fonts. That's what's really cool is like, this is a rounded font. This is a sans serif font. There's a script font, another script font. Uh, we scroll down. You can actually read these unlike some of the times you put it on uh, Mid Journey or a Leonardo, any of those, you can't actually read when they when you type in here. So look at this, keep calm and browse on. It's right here and here. Like it knows how to how to write all of these things, it's pretty cool. Sometimes it doesn't get it all, like, oh, maybe that's a different language, that could be a different language, um, but you can see, uh, it's really cool. Okay, so let's use it, I'm gonna go back to the top. Um, let's do, well, let's do these things first. So let's see recent, of course, which just means um, these are the ones that were just made a few seconds ago, a minute ago, uh, trending, uh, the ones that people are voting up, right, uh, and then, Following, I'm not following anybody, but you can. You can go in there and follow people. And then top, I guess this is the the one with the most hearts. Trending, I guess, has the most hearts quickest, I guess, so um, people are liking it quicker. So not necessarily the most, but it, it is trending. Okay, and then uh, you can see different sizes. This is where you're gonna pick that. Um, and I think for print on demand, we want the tall rectangle. So I would say this one. Uh, 10 by 16, but the square would work as well, I think. Uh, you probably don't want the long one or the wide one, which is, uh, you can see most people don't do that one either. So I'm gonna do the tall rectangle, and then we're gonna go to, um, let's just do typography, and let's just type something. So um, we can do anything we want. It can be very simple prompt, like uh, do your best. And you don't even have to type, um, quotes around it or anything, you can just say, do your best, and maybe in a script font. Uh, let's see if do fancy script font. Boom, okay, let's hit generate, and let's see what happens. Ah, well, you can see, sometimes it doesn't get it right. So maybe, I'm gonna do quotes. Do your best. 
Let's try that. Typography. Oh, let's do poster too. Uh, motivational. Let's do a motivational poster in a fancy script font. Okay, let's try that. Ah, uh, okay. So when you do poster, it it puts it in these. Are, but this one is nice, but it doesn't look like a do your best. Okay, um, let's try. Let's not do poster. Let's just do motivational saying. And this one says poster. So let's take that out. Uh, photo, cinematic, painting, fashion. No, I think that's good. Okay. Kind of cool, right? All right. Uh, let me show you some other things that I found. So let's go, um, let's go find something. And there's also a remix, just like there's a remix on Leonardo. Um, we can do this. So let's find like that cottage adventure, right? Let's say we wanted something like this. This person did, it always does four. This is the best one. We can hit remix and it just copies the same prompt and it will do something similar. So let's try it. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? And then you can change the text too. So let's say instead of cottage adventure, we let's say outdoor. Outdoor adventure, outdoor font, whoops. All right, let's try that. And you can see it's not perfect. So it didn't do the R for here. Maybe it didn't understand that. So it's still hit and miss, but it's still pretty good with the adventure. Let's try something else. Um, let's do a back to school. So let's say a vector t-shirt. Let's say a vector design with books and the words back to school. Yeah, I think illustration and typography, let's take that out. And on a black background. And let's not do square, let's do the top rectangle and see what it does. Look at that, pretty good, right? Back to school again with some books and stuff. So you don't have to just do text. It can do artwork with the text and you can find things that other people have done too. Uh, let me show you, uh, you can see on here on my, um, we have, it saves all the things that you've done on here. And you can look at some of the things that I did here. This is my prompt, a simple vector art design that says, I love the fall. It's a fancy script in the shape of a heart with colorful leaf. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool. That F may be better. Um, but there's one that F is good and, and so on. So you just got to keep playing with it. Um, this one in October, we wear pink. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Right. And, and then let's see another one. Oh, this is the one that I shared the trick or treat. So these are all the different trick or treats ones that came in. Right. So they'll all be saved here and you can remix your own stuff and you can do different things like that. So, okay. So I think we went through all of these. You can use any of these. You can scroll down through these. So next thing I want to show you is the Discord. And I'm going to have to remove myself here. And this is where you find the Discord. So you go here and then Discord. And I'll bring myself back. I'll accept ideogram. All right, so you can see I'm in the Discord here. And one thing we can search on here is for commercial. Let's see if anybody talked about commercial licensing. I asked the question here, but if we jumped down here, this person asked it or got an answer here and says, basically, however, users should carefully consider and determine whether they wish to utilize output images for commercial purposes and what permissions they have from third parties in order to do so. And they're going to update their TOS. So basically this person was asking if you could use it and this person answered it and says, yes, but you just have to be careful where you use it. And I think that's for everything. Some, some places don't want you to use AI art. And so they, they just don't want you to get in trouble with that. They're not just, they're saying that you can use it, but um, they're not the ones in charge of the places that you're going to use it at, right? So that's this. Look forward to more um, 
terms of service as far as commercial use on here. You can keep checking on here, but this is pretty recent. This was today, this morning at 9.45 that this person answered it. All right, so now we know how to use it, what kind of prompts to use. Of course, you can follow all the prompts that are on here. So if you like this, you can use like learn from this prompt right here. Uh, if you like, you know, something else like you see, like this one's pretty cool. It, I think this could really work uh, on a t-shirt and so on. Okay, so let's go to one of my things that I like here and let's see how to download this and use it for t-shirt removing the background. So I'm going to use, um, let's just use that trick or treat one. I'm going to go here and this is where you can download it. Just use this icon and now it's going to download it to my site. So it's going to download it. It's 1024 by 1024. So it's not as big as um, it needs to be. So we're going to upscale it with vectorizer AI since this is a vector. And you can see this one just typed in trick or treat typography. In fact, I didn't type in typography. I clicked that typography. All I did was trick or treat. So um, sometimes you can use very simple prompts and sometimes you need some longer prompts. All right, so here I am on Vectorizer AI, another AI app on the internet. I'm gonna just drag in that one that I did here, the trick or treat, and it's gonna process it. And there you go, looks like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna download this and just hit download, boom. So I wanted to show you another free resource uh, online on the internet, and this is called figma.com. So we're gonna use Figma uh, as our graphic design uh, app where we can go in here and remove all the colors from the SVG. So first we're gonna need to make a uh, artboard so we're, or frame, we'll just go here, see that frame. And we're gonna drag it, and then we're just gonna go here to width 4500, uh, tab 5400, right? All right, so let's zoom out now since we're bigger. Okay, so this frame here, 4500 by 5400. Good, so we're gonna drag in the SVG now that we did with ideogram. There you go, and we're gonna size it up. So it's a vector file, it's fine uh, that we size it up. We're just gonna make sure that it's the size that we want in the t-shirt size, right? So you can see right there, and we can center it, and so on. Now we can actually go on here and select the different spots. You can see everything here is a vector on this side, and we can actually delete those things. So we can come in here and delete any color that we want on here. So let's double click on there, delete that, double click on there, and so on, right? If we don't want these and we want these to show through, we can. Right, and just go through on here, delete all the holes here. Doesn't take too long. And you can delete anything else. And you can also draw on here. So if you wanted to change the color as well, so I can come on here and I can go fill. And I think my eyedropper's under here. Let me move this, yeah, there it is. I can click on my eyedropper, click this color, and then you can see it changed to that color. All right. So very easy, very easy to learn and use. I could do a tutorial on this if you want to, um, but just for time's sake, we're gonna go here and we're gonna export this. So we click on frame, exports right here at the bottom. I'm gonna click that and move my face again. And I'm gonna export frame one, this whole thing as a PNG. It's transparent because we moved the background, right? There's no background on here. So let's do that. Export frame one, boom, it's saving it to my downloads. Now let's just check if it did it right. So I'm gonna go there. Nope, it didn't do it right. You can see there's a white background. So you don't want a white background, you want it gray. So let's check back on frame. And I think automatically it added the FFF, the white here. So I'm gonna do that. Show and exports, nope. Oh, you can actually check that and say show and export. So let's go back. I'm gonna do undo command Z and just leave it white, but you say show and exports. I'm gonna uncheck it. There we go. And let's see if that works. So let's export this again. Go in here, export. You can actually do a preview too. So there you go. Yeah, if I did the preview, I would have seen that it's actually knocked out. So very cool. Uh, so that's how easy it is to use 
Ideogram, Vectorizer AI, and Figma all free. And you can do as many of these as you want. So there you go, everything you needed to know about this new app called Ideogram. You can um, watch this again and kind of go through it. Uh, again, if you see something there, you can remix it. Or if you wanna um, learn from their prompts, you can see the prompts already there. Again, it's not perfect. Some of the letters don't turn out great every time, but at least you can read it now. And so a lot of times it does work and a lot of times it does. I think that's just with AI as it learns and it learns and it gets better, it's just gonna get better over time. So hopefully this was, this tutorial is really helpful for you. You can see that they're gonna update their terms of service to talk about more clearly if we can use this for commercial use. And you can see how easy it is to download, scale it with SVG and use it in Figma and other apps like that um, to remove the color of the background so that you can use it as a transparent PNG. So again, hopefully this video is really helpful for you. If you wanna see another video on what to design for, or how to find that right niche, I put this video right here that I made recently. Um, you can see that now that you know that you can use this app, the next step is to actually know what to design and what kinds of prompts to use. So hopefully that's helpful too. Thanks again for watching. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.